Guy Eastman here. It's Friday and on this week's video we're going to talk a little bit about packing your backpack. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat. A lot of you guys probably have your own method, but I'm just going to kind of quickly go through some of the things that I look at and ways that, uh, that I've developed for, for packing my pack that seem to work real well. When you're packing your pack, the three things you want to look at are stability, balance, and placement. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means when you're packing your pack, and those of you who've ever packed horses know this very well, is you want to balance your load. You don't want things out of kilter. Um, you can have a backpack out of kilter for a first mile or two maybe, but if you're going to go 10, 12 miles, you're definitely going to notice something out of whack or out of balance uh, the, the further distance you go. So what we want to do is stability. We want to make sure we put as much of that heavy weight right against your back, firm to the pack uh, as much as possible. Because the more we put weight out in the pack, further out in the pack, it's going to want to pull you over and pull on the straps. And you'll walk really unstable and it'll, it'll be tough walking uh, for you on rough ground or in rocks or whatever. So you want to put as much of that, that weight right against your back as you can, especially when you're packing meat. You want to definitely put the meat in first against your back, then put all your equipment uh, outside of that. So that's the stability portion. The balance portion is you want to balance your pack left to right. You don't want you want to put uh, some heavy stuff on this side and some heavy stuff to balance it on this side. You don't want to have a lopsided pack uh, that'll wear on you uh, over time and, and make you much more uncomfortable than necessary. So you want to make sure it's balanced left to right and then it's stable, meaning all your weight is against your back. And the last thing is placement. These backpacks have a lot of pockets. You want to make sure you have your equipment strategically placed in there where you can find it and where it makes sense. Uh, so many times I've been in the backcountry when I first started backpacking almost 30 years ago and I'd be out there with my flashlight digging in my backpack for a knife because inevitably something heavy like a a knife or a flashlight, for God's sakes, ends up at the very bottom and you're digging through or emptying your pack on the side of a mountain to get a flashlight out so you can walk out to the trailhead. So you want to make sure everything makes sense where it's at, it's in a, in a spot that makes sense, a spot you can find it, and that uh, you know exactly where it is at all times, especially when it comes to like your safety equipment or things you really need like your, your flashlight or your knives or a fire starter or your raincoat. So those are the three things we look at or take into account when we're packing our pack.